Alrighty guys, welcome to tutorial number 14 and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys probably the most common or I don't want to say the most common but it's probably the topology that you guys are most familiar with because I'm guessing that if you guys you know are just learning networking for the first time and you don't have any weird network set up this is probably the one you have at your house this is called a star topology so let me go ahead and draw an example of this say that in your house I don't know maybe you have a PC maybe a desktop PC and we'll say you have you know an iMac or just a regular Mac over here and let's just draw another PC evidently PCs look like plain old boxes and you know your mom has a laptop because she didn't want a PC it's too big and it's too clunky shut up mom you're getting the oh sorry that's uh that's a little you know uh, personal problem coming out there and you also have a server not you know a waiter or anything like that just a regular server and in the middle this is how it gets the name star topology so what is a star topology well basically it's many different nodes or many different devices connected to a central device now the central device is usually something like a switch or a router if you know time warner and came and set up a router and then you took an ethernet and connected all of your devices to it like everyone's pc everyone's laptop we'll say that this laptop is actually um... you know has a wi-fi card in it and also the Macs usually have a Wi-Fi card built in but basically all of these different nodes are connected to a central device right here and as you can see if you kind of squint your eyes and look this kind of has a star shape because it has one central device we'll just say it's a router in this example and it looks like a star because it has a bunch of different nodes shooting out from it now why would you want a star why does you know Time Warner set up in this system well first of all it's really easy for them they only have to manage one device they don't have to manage your entire network which provides you with internet access of course this would be shooting out to the internet right there that's evidently the symbol for the internet and another thing is that the cost is really low so cost is definitely a plus and why is the cost really low well it's really easy to manage routers since you know everyone is having the internet right now they're made in bulk they aren't really expensive and anytime you want to get you know an ethernet cable or a new computer that's your cost it's no cost to time warner and if you decide to set up your own network like this it's very cheap just to buy one single router instead of a bunch of different you know random equipment now another benefit of this is it's very easy to expand if you know um we'll say you only have one PC at first and then you know your girlfriend moves in with you and she has a laptop and then you know your brother just got you know fired from his job and he moves in and he has another PC on your router you have a lot of different ports so you have you know very easy expansion whenever you want to grow this network if you want to stick another PC on here bam look at that just did it in like 10 seconds so those are the benefits of you know a star network or star topology rather than a bus or you know maybe a ring topology can be kind of confusing or expensive and the last thing that I want to point out which I should have mentioned earlier is that another reason that people like this so much is because whenever one node I don't know goes down maybe you have a break in the ethernet cable right here because your dog ate it or maybe your PC got a virus so this is kinda you know messing up the system the rest of the network still works it doesn't affect the router it doesn't affect your server or anyone else's PC and that's why not only is it easy to fix but it's also easy to identify and unlike before where this was a crucial part of the network this can go down you can even sell it or remove it completely and the rest of your network right here is gonna work just fine now saying that brings me to my next point which is the downside of this because I just you know kinda talked on the benefits of this but there actually is a downside to this and if you look since everything is connected to this one central device your entire network is dependent on this should probably make an arrow on this router right here so that means unlike before with you know our ring topology our double ring whenever this router goes down every single computer 
is no longer able to access the internet. So that's one negative part about this, that every node is dependent on one single central device. And if this gets broke, your router, well then you're screwed. Your entire network goes down. And another small thing I want to mention is that this usually has more cable than a bus or a ring. But that's just, you know, a subtle downside. The main downside is your entire network is dependent on one device. And if that goes down, your entire network is going to go down. So this is the most common for the reasons I listed. But you have to watch out and pay very close attention to your central device. And other than that, um, overall, I would probably highly recommend this for a home network because just it's so easy to set up you can expand it so easy and you know it's just simple especially to teach so with that being said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video